Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. Joining me in the studio is Rishi Chopra. He is a political outreach activist and the political awareness chair of the Network of Indian Professionals and thanks so much for being with me today. Thank you Barbara, it's my pleasure. Now I must say that I'm not familiar with what a political outreach activist does. What exactly do you do? Sure, absolutely. It would be my pleasure to explain. Well, essentially, first of all, NetIP is a national organization uh, with multiple chapters across the country. We represent the San Francisco Bay Area. And in political awareness, basically what we do is we go out into the community and see what the pertinent issues are, what the problems are in everybody's neighborhood, and how to get our younger professionals, which is a demographic of our membership, to get more involved in the community, essentially. Um, Go, no, go ahead. I, you were gonna say so something. essentially, we're holding four panel discussions this year. We already did one in February with San Jose City Council member Ash Kalra and Professor Vivek Wadva, who is an entrepreneurial research professor. We did that at Google in February, got a phenomenal audience response. And we talked about how the city of San Jose is providing incentives to local entrepreneurs and businesses to thrive in the Silicon Valley, even in the face of this adverse uh, economic recession we're facing currently. And you have others that are coming up, other political we discussions? Do. We do. We have one in the East Bay, actually, uh, right around the corner here in Fremont with Fremont City Council member Anuna Rajan. And we're doing one with her on green tech and renewable energy. And when will that be coming out? That will be in May. And it's gonna, the name of that event is Green Tech on the Go. And we're gonna have a panel discussion with an elected official who's Anu, then somebody from the green tech sector, and then a lawyer as well. And discuss what the current environment is, specifically in Fremont, with companies like Solandria and Solera and Tesla, and see what's being done by the local governments to encourage more business and to see what some of the problems that they've been facing as well. What kinds of people attend these uh, discussions? Sure, well our membership is a broad array of people. Uh, traditionally NetIP targets a demographic of about 25 to 40 years old, young professionals uh, who have graduated college, who have entered the workforce, and who really want to get more involved in the community. So in addition to political awareness, we also have a professional development pillar, we also have a community awareness pillar, and a cultural awareness pillar as well. So it's those four main categories we focus on, and we add uh, value to our members' lives based on those four categories, and we design events accordingly as well. Is your aim to get people to get the involved to the point that they actually are contacting legislators and lawmakers trying to find out, you know, get them to move in a direction that they want them to move, or is it just for their own information so they're better voters? Very much, and that's an excellent question. Um, so last year, you know, we had things like film screenings and discussions and, you know, just discussing what the issues are. This year we're moving more towards what you just uh, said. So we're actually getting elected officials out to our events. We want to get people involved in campaigns. Last year we did a, lo we did a lot of work with a lot of local Bay Area campaigns, such as the Nadia Lockyer campaign in Alameda County. Uh, some of our members went on community walks for these candidates. And now with the election cycle coming up again this year, we're aiming to put a lot of our members in direct contact with these people who are running next year and do community walks, outreach, panel discussions with these candidates as well. So that's our goal. But you're nonpartisan, so you let them choose which candidates they exactly. want. Exactly. But you give them the information so that they can make wise choices. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you also um, said that you are going to be involved in the upcoming uh, campaigns in 2012. Right. And how do you get involved in that? Sure. Well, for example, uh, my friend David Chu is running for mayor in San Francisco. Um, he's going to be holding a number of community voice events uh, and events all across San Francisco. We're going to actually make those available to our members so they can tell their friends, go attend these events, get uh, basically voice what their concerns are for the city, and do outreach, basically, uh, to their respective networks. And how many people did you say are involved in your organization? Uh, we have a, you know, on average we get about 150 people or so out to our events. But the outreach is to a much larger group. Essentially, we also reach out to other local organizations like the South County Young Democrats, a lot of student associations at university, a lot of other professional associations such as SABA, which stands for the South Asian Bar Association. So we have a pretty wide outreach. We act as a bridge between many different organizations in the Bay Area. And very quickly, your website if someone wants to get in touch? It's www.netipbayarea.org. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Rishi, for coming in Great. and talking Thanks to so us much, about Barbara, Net IP. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.